AP CRIM, the AP Human Geography Exam, free response question set one. Remember that section two consists of free response questions. There are three questions that should be formatted as short essay answers, and you have 75 minutes to complete them, so allocate your time properly. The free response section is 50% of your exam score. You're required to define and explain and apply geographic concepts and also interpret geographic data, okay? In the redistricting that occurred in 2012, voters in Maryland approved a redrawn third conditional di congressional district. As shown in the map, okay, here goes the map below, a geospatial analysis firm named it the Leaves Compact District in the nation. The first thing I'll need you to do is identify the political phenomenon represented on the map. So the fact that you have these isolated snippets of district instead of one cohesive um, continuum like you see here in the light gray, what political phenomenon is this, okay? And I mind you, this clear space is other land like you know it's part of the township or city whatever it's not water, a water body all right i'll give you a moment to think the political phenomenon demonstrated here is gerrymandering also known as packing cracking wasted vote excess vote or stack vote. And this is done either to give a political candidate an advantage or disadvantage to ensure that they won't win. Okay? Explain the relationship between redistricting and the census. So what is the relation between the two? I'll give you a moment to think. The first relationship I'll mention is what's known as proportional representation because the U.S. Constitution requires a census every 10 years to reset proportional representation in the House of Representatives. The third relationship I'll explain is the redrawing of boundaries. That is, census results are used to examine demographic changes in order to redraw boundaries. The fourth relationship that connects the census to redistricting is the geographic information system. Census data is analyzed by state political parties and political consultants using GIS program to determine the most advantageous house district boundary alignments. Identify and discuss two political consequences that could result from redistricting. The first political consequence that we'll um, examine is partisan power. And this occurs because um, redistricting by state governments often results in elections that either strengthen or weaken the power of a political party. This creates party safe districts and may create or break congressional gridlock. A political consequence of redistricting is lack of social cohesion or sense of community. Gerrymandering districts can be represented by a congressperson who lives far from other district residents or is not of the same ethnic or socioeconomic background as most district residents, resulting in greater tension or disillusionment. 
And for those of you who are not familiar with the word disillusionment, it means a feeling of disappointment resulting from the discovery that something is not as good as one believed it to be. A political consequence that could result from redistricting its advantage or disadvantages to individual candidates. This comes about because redistricting plans designed to protect or weaken the seats of incumbent candidates either weaken or improve the election possibility for challengers. Candidates can become more politically extreme in these scenarios, okay? A possible political consequence that could result from redistricting is advantage-disadvantage for a voting bloc. So it's either or. So gerrymandering districts can strengthen the political power of certain voting blocs. It can also disenfranchise at-risk communities and citizens from the political process. It links or divides areas of voters with similar characteristics based on race and ethnicity socioeconomic status, labor, religious, or um, urban, suburban, and rural characteristics, okay? So a political consequence that could result from redistricting is um, creation or preservation of minority-majority districts. So to create a district favoring some specific ethnic group, or to accommodate surrounding minority ma majority districts. So that's what can result when you do something like this, redistricting or specifically um, as it relates to gerrymandering like you have here. Okay. A political consequence that results from redistricting is lowered voter participation. Confusion over the sp changing spatial patterns of districts or the elimination of candidates who were redistricted out can discourage some voters from participating in the political process. Okay. A political consequence resulting from redistricting are judicial challenges. States can be sued over the shape contiguity of redistricting plans once they are signed into state law. Courts can order district boundaries be redrawn under judicial supervision. A political consequence that ensues after redistricting is preclearance. Prior to 2013, redistricting plans in some states had to be precleared by the U.S. Department of Justice or a three judge panel in the District of Columbia. Due to the past federal discrimination cases regarding violation of the Voting Rights Act, the U.S. Supreme Court ended this practice in specific jurisdictions on June 25, 2013. Um, Department of Justice and judges still have the power to preclear or intervene in redistricting plans, but rules are unclear as of September 25, 2013.